Good morning, Angela here at So Bright Alpine Quilting and welcome to day four of the Great International Craft Show number 13, thanks to Craft Alive. Thanks for joining us. Give us a wave and say hello as you um, pop on and type any comments you have in the comments and we will get back to them uh, later on or Steve might tell me as we go along who's saying hello. So this morning I thought I'd share with you uh, some of our sale fabric and let you know that you can find that on the website under the Great International Craft Show and our favourite bargains. So I've got some um, bargains of sale fabric here for you today. First off we've got uh, Kunawara Red which was from Helen Stubbings. So we've got a few designs left in that. Just probably a metre or so left on each bolt. And um, so the minimum cut for the sale fabric is half a metre and we will, if there is more on there I might give you a ring or I'll contact you and let you know how much is on there just so you might want to finish off the bolt for us. Uh, the next one we have here is called Diaphanous. This was from Jason Yenta and it's a lovely autumn toned range. We've got a few fabrics left in that one as well. Gorgeous ombre in this one. This one changes colour from side to side, which is really interesting. Nice little spot. Trellis design. This gorgeous border fabric. There's a couple of bolts of that one. And this really nice background fabric as well. Just pop those ones aside and get the next pile. Uh, so here we have a few mixed ones. This was another Jason Yenta one uh, from the Garden Delights range. Garden Delights 2, I think that one was. And that was another Garden Delights. This one is called Dreamscapes from Northcott. This one is from Quilting Treasures. Just a little black squiggle on that one. And then we have a black and white print, which was from the Roaring Twenties range from um, Philip Jacobs, which was a snow leopard, under the snow leopard brand. This quirky little one was called Foul Play. Little eggs. And that one also had a panel that went with it. And that had panels also on sale as well. So we have a few left in the red, and I think there's one white one, one left. And then lastly in this stack we have this little um, lined fabric from Letterpress from Northcott. Another good low volume background. Come on, I've got the pile of panels here. Uh, we have this one here called Bunny Bowling. So this one has um, some bunnies, the front and back of the bunnies and the bottoms that you could turn into like a little soft bowling game. But I thought it would be really nice to have them on applique onto a baby quilt. So you could applique the front of the bunnies on the front of the quilt and the back of the bunnies on the back of the quilt. It would make it really interesting little, quick little baby quilt. So they're on sale now as well. And the other panel that I have here, you might have to come in quite closely to have a look at this one, Steve, because it's a very faint print, this one. This one was called Heirloom Splendor. So it's got a very faint design on it that you can use for hand quilting or candle wicking. So it's got some feathers and some wreaths. It's a really interesting design. Just a little bit hard to show off on the camera. So there's four cushion panels in the panel. So each one is about 40 centimetres square, 40 or 50 centimetres square. So that one's in the sale. And then we have only two left of the Amazing Grace panel. So this is from Quilt Work, uh, sorry, Print Works from Sweetwater from Moda. Um, so this has the whole Amazing Grace 
lyrics on a big panel and the panel is 54 inches by 65 so that's about a meter 40 by a meter 60 and they're down to $60 from $70 and it's printed on a cotton canvas that one but it'd be a nice one for a, a quilt center of a, of a larger quilt okay here we have some last fabric left from uh, a cotton and steel range that we had in called Jubilee And this one is a, a an ombre fabric, so it has a nice radiation across the fabric. That one was a Dreamscapes one as well. And then we have some floral folk from Margot Elena. There's a few of those left. And these colour. It's lovely purple. So this is one I've been using on the um, in the round. Uh, English paper piecing projects from Helen Stubbings that I showed you on Thursday, Friday, Thursday or Friday. So you can see those there as well. So some cute little designs there. So pretty much most of the ones that I've been showing you, they're reduced to, a, I think it's $22. They were anything from $28 to $32 originally. So it's a good saving. Good for backings, good for the linings of bags. Uh, this one was called Craft is Gonna Craft. That was from Wyndham Fabric, so we've got two of those left. So as I said, just you know, just over a meter on left on each one. This cute one with the zippers. Uh, this one was Summer Dance from Bethann. Beth Ann Janine and that was a um, Dashwood Studios fabric that one so this is a cute little range I think we used this on the mug mats that I showed you there's some of them in the mug mats De that one's definitely in the mug mats here yeah so a great little one for the mug mats and the last one of that one we have is this cute one of the little dragonfly on it. it's very sweet Okay, next up, this was a range called uh, Fine Spun from Studio 37 for Free Spirit. Some quite graphic designs in these ones. So you've got that um, interesting star. You've got this one with a field of flowers. This one here reminds me of Moroccan windows. And another little blender that goes with that. And the last one, we, last pile we have is, oh, two more. Got some few left fabrics left in um, Marmalade Dreams from Valerie Wells, these ones were, uh, was her last range for Robert Kaufman. So there's a few little ones left of that one. It's lovely green. I love this bright yellow one. The swallows on it. This one would be good for dragon scales, this one. And we've got the swallows in the blue. and the blue flowers in that one. And the last one, before I show you some panels, is there's only two fabrics left from this little range from Cheeky. It's called Cheeky um, from Moda. So we've got two little fabrics there. And then I've got some panels here. So these um, panels were called Paint from Kathy Hall. So they're really good for backgrounds for applique or for piecing. You could make a really quick Bargello quilt out of these or use them for a colour wash. So we've got three colours in that. So there's this blue one, 
You could even use that as your background for um, any of the undersea appliques from Pattern Pool. So there's the blue. There's this one here with black tones, black and brown tones. And we have a rainbow. So this one is a rainbow. It has beautiful rainbow colours on it. And then we have one left of the... I'll have to open it up and show you because you can't see it otherwise. It was called um, Supernova from Hoffman. So it's got this gorgeous reindeer, lovely Christmas panel. So that's the last one we have of that. Uh, and then we also have quite a few patterns in the sale as well. Far too many to stand here and flick through. You're much better to go to the website and have a look for those. And you'll find that they're in between 25 to 40% off all of those patterns. Lots of them, there's the, they're the last one left. And we'll just remind you of the other showcase products that we've got here. You can find all of our favourite English paper piecing patterns, including this gorgeous grand paddle wheel. Our favourite handbag patterns. And our favourite Jen Kingwell templates. Our favourite applique patterns from the like the ones that we showed you on Thursday from the range of um, Undersea and the Australian animals from Pattern Pool. Lots of different applique patterns in that section. We've got our favourite mug mats. And then you also have the panels that we used in the uh, free motion quilting class that you could have watched uh, on Thursday. If you missed it, you can see it by subscribing to the Great International Craft Show Classroom or um, you can purchase that uh, class directly from us as well. The other class that I did on Friday was the chenille cushions with the wildlife art panels. So I took you through the process of uh, making these gorgeous little cushions using your chenille cutter and layering the panel with lots of different um, plain fabrics behind. So we make a nice little 45 centimetre cushion. This afternoon we'll be back with a tour of the shop and a, and a recap again of the products that we've shown you over the last four days. We'll point them out of where they live in the shop and give you an insight as to what you can see if you come and visit us in Bright. Thanks for watching. See you this afternoon.